President Trump says public schools do not have to follow former President Obama's bathroom mandate. That's great news for the privacy and safety of our kids. I have Autumn Levis. She's our policy director, and she joins me today. Hi, Autumn. Hi, Kim. Good to be with you again. Absolutely. We love having you here. Hey, this whole thing has to do with a law, a federal law called Title IX. First of all, tell us the purpose of Title IX. Well, Title IX is a long-standing federal statute that was really enacted to ensure equal access to educational opportunity for girls. So last year, President Obama sent out his quote-unquote Dear Colleague letter to all the public schools in the nation requiring them to open girls' bathrooms, locker rooms, and changing areas to boys. And he did it based on Title IX. He actually redefined the word sex in Title IX to include gender identity. But that was really an overreach. Absolutely, it was an overreach. In fact, Congress has repeatedly rejected attempts to include gender identity in federal statute. Um, so really what President Obama did was go around the congressional process and essentially satisfy his political base before he left office. Now the big question for me is just what did President Trump do then in rescinding this order uh, that would make things all better? <laughs> so President Trump and his Department of Justice and his Department of Education essentially issued a new letter saying that President uh, Obama's guidance on Title IX is now rescinded and was was written really without delving into the legal issues at stake. And so that is now gone. The Trump administration is not going to follow it. And basically we need to protect all students in schools, which is what we've believed all along. Well, Family Policy Alliance is involved in a case surrounding this bathroom mandate that's now before the Supreme Court. We're actually going to have opening arguments on March 28th. We've partnered with a self-described radical feminist group called WOLF, and we have an amicus brief in that case. But what does this new uh, action by President Trump do for us in that case? Well, Kim, that's a great question. I think that's what everyone is wondering. So really what the court can do is send the case back, back to the lower courts and say, you now need to consider, consider this case in light of the new guidance from President Trump's administration, or they can proceed with the case and really just focus on the issue at hand, which is can Title IX be interpreted to include gender identity and not just sex as we've always understood it. Thank you, Autumn. And thank you, Kim. We are so grateful to President Trump for rescinding this order, and we want to offer you the opportunity to tell him how grateful you are. We've made it easy. You can go to FamilyPolicyAlliance.com, click on our Take Action button at the top of the page, and you can actually sign on to a thank you that will be sent to President Trump, letting him know how grateful you are for restoring privacy and safety to our kids in public schools. And stay tuned because opening arguments in the case before the Supreme Court actually start on March 28th. So we'll be bringing you updates with that.